Hey, what's up, guys? Just a few quick pickups. Um, just four cars. Um, went to another Walmart today, and um, there was some stuff that I wanted that I did not get yesterday, but I went back for today. Um, one of the cars is the same. I got another El Camino in the uh, 2013 packages, but it says move for 2012. Um, I actually had a question on my yesterday video, or, or not really a question, but some guys aren't having any luck finding them. Uh, yeah, um, at first I didn't really uh, quite have any luck. Um, I know uh, a couple people got them before me, but once the uh, the new the case came in, the um, what's I'm not sure what's case code. I don't really follow up with case codes, but the the latest case code that's in came in when they started bringing out the pink breast cancer cars and a lot of the new uh, 2013 cars um that's what I started seeing and I found four of them one day my nephew has one and then I have three for myself and then um now two more from yesterday and then this one um but this one's package is a bit creased up just due to it being in a dump in they had two dump ins that have already been searched through, but I found what I needed, what I was mainly looking for. Um, I also got the uh, 72 uh, Ford Grand Torino Sport, uh, just the basic, not the treasure hunt. They didn't have any of the treasure hunt ones. Some of these probably already got them. The dump, like I said, the dump ins were already, um, you know, dug through a little bit. Um, uh, besides the bottom, the bottom had some things, but nothing real, you know, you know, no treasure hunts or anything like that. Um, I did find a red line. There was a few red lines that I found. This was the only one. It was the, uh, the uh, 2012 City Works Custom 69 Chevy pickup. I originally have some wheels that um, they should, it would have wheels like this, like the El Camino would have, but, um, and, uh, this was uh, yellow. Oh, I'm sorry, I kind of lost my train of thought when I was talking about this. But um, there's a couple guys saying that they that they're not having any luck finding it. They should be coming. It seems they, um, I'm seeing more of them on the pegs now. Um, so they should be getting easier to find here pretty soon. I mean, I was worried about it at the beginning, like um, when Ray Cruz did his uh, poster thing. I figured, uh oh, that one's gonna be a definite hard one to find. I mean. At the beginning, it you know I didn't really see anything, but also because you know I'm kind of, where I live at, we're kind of slow at getting the uh, newer cases at times. But this time we're we're pretty good on getting our new cases in. So um, yeah, the Saudis should be finding it soon. It seems like there's probably about maybe two or three of these per case. You know, uh, that's the way that I see it. You know, I work I run across them every you know 10 cars or so every 10 cars i pick out um and then i got the uh 2013 new models um hot wheel stunt 2012 mini country band rally yeah this one was a cool one i didn't pick it up yesterday because there's some other things that i wanted but it's for in 2012 munich germany designer bmw with its with its ready, set, gone, four-cylinder engine and direct fuel injection, this turbocharge was made to rally. Yeah, very cool. Um, I think the main thing that really got me into Mini Coopers was um, Mr. Bean. If anyone's ever seen Mr. Bean, he drove that uh, that really old uh, Mini Cooper. It was actually a right-side driver because, you know, um, the country that he's in, he's from like England or London. England or London or something like that, so his is a right side driver, but it's an older one, it was a uh, matte lime green with a black hood, there's also a couple episodes where he drove a, um, a kind of orange one, he very rarely drove that one, but I used to be a big fan, of, I, well I wasn't a big fan, but I used to just watch him a lot as a little kid, and I used to like bust up at him as a little kid. But um, that's the, that's kind of what I why I always like Mini Coopers, um, you know. But yeah, uh, you know, this one's a pretty cool piece right here. 
plan to get some more of these. Uh, I was going to get some more today, but they're all messed up packages or ones with nice packaging that we smeared your uh, decos. And this one has really clean decos. Um, it's really hard for me to see the other side. This wheels a little better, this side's wheels. My surface looks like painted. It just looks like it wobbles a bit, but it rolls good. But yeah, anyways, it just has this little plastic spoiler kind of separately. Uh, I don't think it comes out or anything. Usually things like this come off, they put that kind of warning label on there, like it says small parts may not be appropriate for children or whatever. Um, looks like it has some roll caging in there. It might be hard for you guys to see, but if you get it for yourself, you can actually see a little bit of roll caging in there. You can see the uh, rally lights up here. Um, number 27. Very nice, uh, nice color, um, appropriate graphics for this kind of car. Perfect rally car. I really like this one. Um, you know, dual exhaust. Very nice. They painted the uh, tail lights. No painted headlights, though. Sadly, I mean, it's a little weird that they did that, though. To even go to the extent of painting the uh, mini logo and doing a license plate with the Hot Wheels logo and doing the tail lights but not do any front lights, but do hood pins. I think those are hood, no, those are hood pins. It doesn't show it in the packaging. But, um, that is a little weird to me how they would do just do the tail lights and no, nothing on the headlights. I mean, they would at least could have just did like something like black or something on them. But that's all right. This is still a nice piece though. I can see what they even like painted some black right there on the sides of it is supposed to be or whatever I'm not sure what that is I don't really follow up with Mini Coopers much this is a four door very nice piece glad I got it plan to get a couple more of these like I said I'm hauling these in um, I'm probably going to get a few more and then I'll be done um, taking these in um, but I will be getting a like maybe three or three more of these or so uh, but yeah very nice piece uh, really like this one. This one's a lot better out of package. I really enjoy this piece. And then there's the uh, plain end one. I think I'm going to leave this one in the package. The package is pretty nice on it. And they just wait to get a, another one in a nasty package. Yeah, they also had a couple other red lights. They had that, that Subaru WRX STI, but I don't like that one. I don't really like that car. Um, they had red lines, and then they had that uh that fair lane. I think it was like a 64, 65, 65 fair lane or something like that. It was that brown one? It had red lines. But it's like somebody was looking through the dump bin, and it's like they must have had a coffee in their hand, and they spilled coffee all over it. And there was just coffee all over, and the package was all sticky. And I was like, I was like, I don't know. You know, some of it actually looked like it got inside onto the car because it looked like there was some brown stuff um, inside the uh, inside the package in the like windows. And it was all sticky and stuff. I was like, yeah, I'm not gonna go to the extent of you know getting this and then cleaning it up. You know, I don't, I don't need it that bad. You know, and, um, I already seen some other ones. Uh, so yeah. I just haven't got them yet. Uh, but yeah, that's what I got today. Red Line 69 Chevy pickup, uh, a little showroom, 72 for Grand Torino for 2013, and the uh, custom 31 El Camino for Hot Wheels Stunts. You know, Hot Wheels Stunts uh, 2013 new model is a Countryman Rally Mini Cooper. Alright, you guys, thanks for watching.